Kane here from the Brookings Home Team, powered by Century 21, and the one that's not quite ready yet over here, Janine Cogarty with the Brookings Home Team as well. Not quite ready? Are you ready now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> got to get in here. We got to get... Uh, this is not social distancing. There's no social distancing here. <laughs> so, hey, today we want to talk about why owning a home could be a powerful financial decision. There's there's a lot of reasons here for it, but Janine, Janine and I are going to talk about three important ones today. And, um, you know, building equity uh, in a home, um, you know, you can have 40 times more wealth than a renter. And, um, you know, of course, the values in today's homes are just, just going up uh, astronomically here, too. So that kind of helps as well. But uh, Janine and I are going to talk a little bit. Like I said, I've got three important pieces to talk about on why, you know, uh, owning a home is a powerful financial decision. And uh, Janine's just going to start off here with number one. So thanks again for joining me. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Um, so number one, you won't always have a monthly housing payment. So uh, they talk a little bit to Dave Ramsey in this article. And one of the things that he explains is that every payment brings you closer to owning a house. Um, when you pay rent, that money is spent. It's gone. See you later. Never coming back. Um, and then if you look at the other side of that, when you pay a mortgage, um, you actually work towards full ownership. So your money's actually working for you instead of just you working for your money. Um, so as a homeowner, you can eventually eliminate that monthly payment. Uh, so if you pay down your mortgage, as you pay that down over time, it's gonna go away. So um, that's something that if you're renting, it's never gonna go away. It's not gonna it's not going to continue to help you. You're just throwing that money basically out the window. Um, and so that uh, particular uh, action of paying that monthly payment towards your house is going to be um, a big factor in how home ownership can drive stability and uh, savings into your life. It can um, begin to work as like a forced savings plan, it says, uh, in the form of that equity. So when you pay on your house, you do build equity in your property. And um, that helps you to grow your net worth. And then you can continue to reinvest those savings into your future, maybe by buying another home. Or you can even put money back into your current home to update it or add on or make it more valuable. And, um, well, the possibilities are endless. Endless, yeah. And, and talking about equity and stuff, so number two would be the tax benefits that, that come with that, uh, owning a home. Sometimes you can write off your property taxes. Sometimes you can write off the interest um, that is occurring on the, the mortgage loan there. So um, it's a big tax break potentially for you there, but we always recommend you, you check with your uh, tax advisor on what you can actually um, uh, deduct and stuff there and when Janine was talking about you know improving your home uh, a big thing is using that equity and maybe taking out a second uh, um, a second mortgage which would be uh, like a I'm drawing a blank on it home right? improvement um, yeah uh, home line equity. of credit a line, line of credit, credit. and uh, you know you can use that to to update a bathroom a bedroom or whatever and that interest in that account can also be um, tax deductible uh, as well as maybe uh, paying off credit cards and stuff like that so you can use your home to work for you and I, I coming from experience I did exactly that uh, it worked out great and um, we were able to write some of that interest off there so number three number three monthly housing costs are predictable um, you know not everything in your life would you like for it to be predictable but your monthly expenses being predictable is not a bad thing um, it becomes more predictable with home ownership versus renting. Um, and so they had a little comment from Dave Ramsey on that as well. Uh, rent rates will go up even if you found a killer deal in a hot area. Inflation, competition, and rising property values will cause your rent to go up year after year. Uh, with a mortgage, you can keep your monthly housing costs relatively steady and predictable. And this is true. Uh, so you've got a fixed rate interest on your mortgage, typically. And if you're doing that, uh, your payment is what your payment is. It's always going to be if you're 
mortgage rate is three and a half percent, your your payment's always going to be at that three and a half percent interest. Um, and it can allow you to budget your finances more effectively over a longer period of time. Um, so with rent um, continuing to go up and increase um, in today's market, uh, and then looking at uh, mortgage rates and how they've continued to go down uh, now would be a great time and I'm not just saying that now would be a great time uh, for you to put your money to work for you in purchasing a home if you want to lock in your monthly payment at a low rate uh, and then you also need to have a solid understanding of what you're going to spend your mortgage payment to spend in your mortgage payment every month um, buying a home is definitely uh, your best bet when you start putting all of those things out on paper you can see that for yourself so really the, the bottom line here is brookings home team is ready to help you out uh, if you're ready to start feeling the benefits of stability savings and predictability um, let us know uh, how that works with with owning a home we're, we're ready to help you out here at the brookings home team so give myself a call janine a call uh, savannah or gail we're ready to go to work for you so any hey, i just thought of something like when you're saving all this money and you're building equity in your house and it says you could do all these different things, you know, the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. You could take the equity in your home here where it's freezing <laughs> and you could buy yourself a cute little second home somewhere where it's nice and toasty warm. Yeah. Yeah. See? And then take us along. And then take, of yeah. course, you would yeah. open this up as a vacation property that we as your realtors could help you use because clearly you can't live there all the time no you don't want to all no, the time. no no but but we would be happy to break it in for you yeah so. i'm just thinking i'm just thinking out loud <laughs> throwing things out there for maybe my husband if he's watching you just know. spitballing here yep. so, yeah. hint, hint. <laughs> perfect all right janine anything else before we sign <laughs> off so. no i i honestly just really can't stress enough how great those rates are right now and if you are thinking about purchasing a home going from renting to purchasing now's a a great time to get into your lender, get pre-approved, and let's get out there and start looking at homes. Uh, also, if you're looking at listing and maybe um, stepping up, uh, you know, getting into a larger home, um, now's also a great time to do that. You just couldn't ask for better rates. You just bet. That's it. That's, That's it. all I got to say. You bet. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share and tag this video with anybody else you think would benefit from it here. And we're ready to work for you. So uh, Brookings Home Team, don't settle for average. Average doesn't sell. Have a great day and stay warm. Hope See you guys. <clears throat>